Moreland, featuring the three degree guarantee. Sponsored by Capital Credit Union. After highs in the lower 80s yesterday afternoon, most locations running about 8 to 10 degrees cooler today. And we're going to drop off another 10 to 15 degrees for tomorrow. Here's a look at your seven day temperature trend. The normal high drops down to 69 degrees tomorrow, and we will be below that for the foreseeable future. 50s and lower 60s tomorrow, and then mainly lower to mid 60s as we move through the weekend into early next week. We had a couple of thunderstorms across the area before daybreak. In fact, we did have one severe thunderstorm north and west of Oshkosh with some hail being reported in Poissippi. Since then, the weather has been quiet, but we do have some scattered showers now working in from the north as cold air drops south out of Canada. And as you take a look at the high risk future radar here, you will see that we do have that chance for a few scattered showers as we head through the evening and overnight hours, especially north of Green Bay. We had one cold front move through earlier. Now we have another cold front dropping in from the north. This secondary cold front means business. Temperatures ahead of it this afternoon in the 70s. North of that cold front, temperatures only in the 50s, and that is the cool weather that's going to work in here for tomorrow. The days are going to be cool, and the nights are going to be cold. We have frost advisories now up for much of northern Minnesota, North Dakota, and parts of South Dakota, and we will watch those frost advisories move south and east into our neck of the woods for tomorrow night. Now we're going to have some gusty winds tonight into tomorrow out of the north at around 10 to 20 miles per hour, and that means yes, we will be dealing with a wind chill factor tomorrow morning. I haven't used this graphic in months. By tomorrow morning, many of us will have wind chills down into the 30s. And uh, that's probably what you would expect for the first day of fall, right? The autumnal equinox is tomorrow evening at 8.04. So yeah, fall officially arrives in just 24 hours. And it certainly is going to feel like it after wind chills in the 30s during the morning. We'll see a mixture of clouds and sunshine throughout the day with highs in the 50s to around 60 degrees. Maybe a scattered shower out there as well. And then tomorrow night with clear skies and light winds, many locations will fall down into the 30s to around 40. North and west of the Fox Valley, though, many spots will be close to freezing. And that's why I'm thinking we will have frost advisories or freeze warnings for a large part of the viewing area, especially north and west of Green Bay. And really, that's not that unusual. We typically see our first freeze or frost of the season within the next two to two and a half weeks. So we'll just have to wait and see how cold it gets tomorrow night. So your forecast for tonight calls for breezy and cool conditions. There will be the chance for a few hit or miss showers. Overnight lows will be in the lower to mid 40s, but with those gusty northwest winds, yep, wind chills down into the 30s. Tomorrow, clouds mixing with some sunshine will have a chance for a shower. Highs will be about 10 to 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. My three degree guarantee for Thursday is 61. If I can hit that high within three degrees, we will donate $100 to Lucky 7 Dog Rescue. And we did that today. I forecast 73. The actual high temperature was 74 degrees. On Friday, sunshine and 64 after that chilly morning. The weekend will be mostly cloudy and cool with some on and off showers. Highs in the lower 60s and then lower 60s into early next week. A pesky insect is killing trees in two rivers. I'll have more on what the city is doing to prevent it. Some trees in two rivers have been alive for decades and 